Hey y'all, it's your girl Gina. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. So I am currently waiting for my homegirl to come pick me up so that we can head out to Reno. I got my bags packed. I'm going to tell y'all about what the fuck happened before it was time to leave. Whew. I feel very much rushed. Like I didn't even get to do my hair. I'm going to have to wait till we get out there to do it. I didn't get to do my makeup. Didn't really do my brows how I wanted. It just a whole bunch of shit. I'm, I'm gonna figure it out when I get there. But I had to look somewhat decent. But yeah. I'm gonna take them lightly because chocolate, even chocolate sounds good to me. Like. Mm. I feel like the weed would help them. Oh, that's, and that's why I'm like, if this doesn't stay down, I'm gonna be pissed. This is really gross off though. Is it? Let's see what the sour is talking about. Because I need some syrup. Yeah, what kind of dry? Let me find my business. Well, it's moist. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. It's like the McGriddle. Right. I know what you're talking about, though. Mm -hmm. Look at my grill. There's some places in Oregon that have those with sausage and waffles, and it's really good. Mm. And we found us a dispensary. It was on the hut. Y'all, we thought we found some weed. It's talking about a recommendation. Pay $25 for it. We just want to smoke. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I didn't buy more of them. Hi, I was wondering if you guys were doing auditions today. Yeah, I'm just going to get out of lot more just ready for this yeah yeah this blunt was it needed helped. a few hours ago i'm you. not gonna lie we at spice house we here whatever. we here i'm here with a baddie okay <laughs> i'm excited there ain't nobody here so hopefully we get in spice house <laughs> your bags are open
We back. We had to go get something to eat. I tried to raise canes for the first time. Good as fuck. Failing love, Laura supported me. Okay. What else they got around here? Yeah, I'll make shit happen. Period. Look at my memory. If you post, they will come. Oh, hey. Period. Mean girls suck. Yeah, they do. Share what you think is important. No lotion. Man, I like this man. Lotion is crazy. Yeah, the club is dead. Very much dead. Your phone? No, I was talking to the vlog. Oh. <laughs> I said the club was very much dead. But, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Manager said everybody get paid tomorrow, so we better be getting paid tomorrow too. Yeah. We're about to smoke and go to bed because it's tired. Yeah. Wipe this makeup off. I'm gonna take a shower in the morning. Fuck all that. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing <laughs> 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 We ain't even do a lot of work, so. Let me shit ain't working. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it Saying if you want that bitch, put your hands up high Hands up high, hands up high Tell her put the lights down right now Put me in the booth, I'm talking Ooh wee, looking crazy Can't wait to get back in shower This morning we on the way to Jamba Juice. Are we? And Jim Boys. We're going both? Oh, where we wanna go? Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Saying if you want that bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell her to the lights down right. Yeah, we've been asleep. <laughs> and it's hot as hell in here. I'm about to go walk by the river and smoke. Hopefully the police don't trip. <laughs> I'll be tripping out here. Ooh. Tired of switch.
Man, it's sprinkling, y'all. Wish us luck. We can make a bag. We're tired. Tired as fuck. <laughs> <sighs> First one's here. Answer. Right? <laughs> what is, Reno has not been that great to us. No, no, no. I can think about a hundred things. I could be doing right now. No waste of my time with you. Girl. Okay, okay. But you gotta have it your way. I'ma start that clock on you. Damn, today's Saturday. About to leave. Mm -hmm. Check out, it's at 10. I need to take a shower. Hey y'all, this is the end of our trip. We was gonna stay today, but check out it's today and we don't wanna stay around in Reno for nine hours. And honestly, I don't think the club is even worth it. Like these girls talking about it got busy. Like I was I'll explain later. Like these these females thought they knew what money was, but no. Now we did make our money back. And maybe a little profit. Did you mean to leave that door open? Oh, no. <laughs> Burrito. Who's little baby shit? <laughs> you know who? How cute! Why is it so tight? Did it shrink? No. She's <laughs> small. Look at how cute this is. <laughs> You're hella funny. Oh my god. <laughs> like my daughter's She's not one and a half. <laughs> So I had took my shower or whatever. I laid down for a minute and I couldn't sleep. Like I'm tired, but I can't sleep. And I was debating on going to the club out here, but my body hurts. Like everything hurts. Like spin pole is like a different kind of hurt. <sighs> Static pole hurts too, but everything just hurts. Um, I did want to come on here and update you guys as far as how everything went for the trip. So first and foremost, Reno, it was not the greatest of greatest times. Like, not even, like, I'm not even talking about money-wise. I'm talking about, like, I'm talking about, like, the drive there. Like, we wanted to smoke so bad and couldn't because we had we didn't get in the weed before we left. And we wanted to be on the road by a certain time. We had, it was just a whole hectic shit. Um, we kept trying to find a dispensary, like, on the way there. And apparently, like, in some counties, they don't even have those. <laughs> and I'm like, what? or Placer County I think it was something like that but um yeah so we didn't get no weed till we got there the Airbnb was cool it was alright but after we worked the first night we came back and it was freezing and it took forever to warm up then it was hot the next day like <laughs> it was just hectic and then what else happened like we was looking for liquor stores to buy woods and shit shit was closed at like hella early we went to five different stores at one point to try to find a wood and we couldn't and then, like, we were looking up, like, well, we're going to get off at, from the club around 3 or whatever. So, we're going to want to eat. We were looking at places that were open. Even Jack in the Box up there was closing at 10. Like, what? Like, I don't know. It was just crazy. But we did have a good time, whatever. Money-wise, it was all right. First, the very first night we worked, dead. Like, dead man's town. And they claim it got it picked up like right before we left or at, right after we left or whatever but I don't know I don't believe it um then we worked Friday night Friday night was cool it, it started off a little slow then it picked up right away so I was happy about that because I'm the type where I'm I'm ready to go as soon as I get dressed I'm gonna go make money I don't want to sit around for a hella hours and then finally get the energy like when people come in I don't know if you know what I mean but if you get it you get it um yeah so I had got like three three dances last night and then um a little bit of stage money and that club they take out so say you get like a hundred dollar dance they're you only leave with 70 of it you get a 60 dollar dance you only leave with 45 of it like yeah y'all be playing like y'all already make us pay a house fee like i don't know i don't i don't get it but i was happy because <laughs> As long as I don't come back in the negative, for real. And that was my first time experiencing Reno. We only tried one club. We didn't get to try the other ones because obviously the, 
the day that the time that we went it was a thursday and so we didn't really the first club was just already fucking with us so we just started it started to work there but the other clubs auditioned early in the week so maybe next time if we do decide to go back I don't know. I, don't, I was not feeling Reno. And then when we got there, we were sneezing, coughing, nose was running. Now I'm back in town and I'm fine. What's going on? <laughs> but I did want to come on here and tell you guys that. Um, I'm. Oh, yeah. Just want to update you guys on our trip. It was cool. I drove on the way back. She drove there. Whatever. It was cool. It was cool. Cool experience. Um, I enjoyed the scenery. So yeah, my stomach hurts right now. I'm really tired. I want to lay down, but I also want to make, go make money. Like, man, this this hustle mentality is just like, I just want to work. But next time I come in here, I'm gonna have some tips for you guys because people have been asking me a lot about where I find my sugar daddies, how to find a sugar daddy, how to talk to them, things like that, how to keep them interested. So I'm gonna disclose those little tips at the end of this video um and also a couple youtube tips people be asking me like how do you start your youtube what do you need da, 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 this and that so i'm gonna just disclose a little couple tips also i'm gonna be answering um i had posted a q and a on my instagram if you don't follow me on my instagram um go ahead and do so at underscore your girl gina because i do post and it's two a's on the uh two a's on the gina because i do post a lot of the stuff that i'm doing on there and I highlight I have different highlights and stuff so you guys if you want to stay tuned with that go ahead and follow me there um but yeah anyways I did post a Q&A on my Instagram and some people did send me some questions so once I do the tips I'm gonna answer those couple questions because it wasn't a lot but I'm gonna answer those um and just you know get into it so this video is really just gonna be my trip to Reno and then sugar baby sugar daddy tips YouTube tips Q&A and then I'm gonna close out that video and I'm gonna start a new video for my birthday. So you guys, so you guys, I was gonna just do, um, shoot the Q and A, the tips tomorrow, but I was just like, you know what? I'm already editing this video. Let me just finish adding onto it so I can move on to the next thing. Um, and I can upload this video tomorrow for you guys. Um, so I'm just going to do that while I get ready for bed. I'm about to put on this jelly mask. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm about to put on this jelly mask. And then I'm about to put on these eye patches because the girl been tired. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start with the Q&A. The first question that I had received was, have you ever been in any drama being a dancer? Mm, no. I am not a drama type person at all. Like I avoid drama. Like so yeah, sometimes it's fun to watch it, but I as far as being a part of it, no ma'am. And I treat I try to treat people how I would want them to treat me. So with that being said, I'm friendly to everyone until they're not. And if they're not friendly to me, I just avoid them. Like why why create drama? And I'm too old for that shit. Like, no. Drama? No. Why don't you have a boyfriend? To be so completely honest, like, I'm still damaged from my last relationship from my youngest father. I was in love with that man. Something tough. Can nobody tell me shit. Even though they could tell me a lot of shit. <laughs> but... Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty much still damaged from my last relationship. Like, I don't trust easy. I'm not interested easily. Like, you can't be boring. We got to have a good vibe. Like, I just haven't found anybody that... I don't want to say compares to him because he didn't treat me the greatest. But I want to say, like, vibe-wise, connection-wise, we were... We were like that. like, And plus, I'm still healing. Like, it's almost been, what, two years since I've been single, I want to say? I don't even know. But, yeah, I don't have time for a boyfriend. Um, I don't want to introduce my kids to anyone else right now. You don't take that shit lightly. I don't know why people do. People is crazy out here. Hurting people's kids that ain't their kids. Like, no. I don't have time. I'm focused on money. I'm focused on me. And I'm on this self-love, self-care journey, this money journey. 
really. So I don't know. A boyfriend will come. They will always be there. <laughs> and if not, shit, I'm doing just fine without one. Sure, there'd be some lonely nights, but yeah, that's pretty much why I don't have a boyfriend. Damaged goods, your girl is. <laughs> Damaged goods. Yeah, I'm traumatized, but whatever. I'll get over it. Maybe get a boyfriend one day. Hell, maybe a girlfriend. Who knows? <laughs> what age did you start dancing and how long do you see yourself dancing? So, um, I just want to give a little backstory of why I even started dancing because people like to come on here and judge. Like somebody put a comment on one of my other videos talking about, what are you going to do when you get old? First of all, I am old. <laughs> I already disclosed that and I don't care. I don't really care how people view me, which is why I continue to just share my life. You either watch and enjoy or watch and hate, I guess. Whatever. Either way, you're not being forced to watch me. So, um, yeah. And then they said something about making your family proud or whatever. Like, you know what? I take care of my bills, take care of my responsibilities. My kids are good. They have a place to sleep. They have food to eat, clothes on their back. Yeah, all of the above. They are fine. Um... So I don't really care about making nobody proud. I don't really even got a family like that. And the family that I do have, they're there for me. When they can be. It is what it is. So I don't really care about making anybody proud. But anyways, um, yeah. I started dancing really because I had quit my job at the shelter. Um, only because I was like, what is it, compassion fatigue? If you don't know what that is, look it up. Um, plus I had just put my dog down at my job where I got him from. And so like every day was a constant reminder of him. And like, I was just burnt out from that job. I had been there for five years. I was over management. It was just a whole bunch. And so I was, I just took a risk and I quit my job. And I was like, you know what? I'm just take care of my kids for a little bit because I was honestly, I was having trouble with childcare anyway. That was a whole thing. Like I didn't have anybody to pick up my daughter after school. Then my son started school and then he started having behavioral problems. Like they were calling me every day, different times of the day. It'd be like nine o'clock. He just got to school. Like come pick him up. He like just behavioral issues. I was always having to come get him. And so like having a daytime job was impossible. It was impossible. And so, yeah, I could have got a regular nighttime job like Denny's or something, but I was in it for a minute for fast money. Like I need to take care of my kids today, not in two weeks. So that's why the child care, that's money. It works with my, it works with my schedule. Um, it makes me available to my kids. Like if I'm working a regular nine to five job, I'm unavailable like nine to five. Got to request time off for birthdays. Um, just nine to five jobs. I'm not knocking anybody who got one, but it's just it was it hasn't been working for me. Um, Anyways, what age did you start dancing? I started dancing at, I want to say 28. Yeah, your girl's old. And sometimes I be doing it better than the 21-year-olds. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. But anyways, yeah. Um, and how long do you see yourself dancing? I'm quitting this year. Like, this is my last year. Um, I don't see myself dancing forever. Dancing is clearly not um, a career. It's just something temporarily. Some people do it for schooling. Some people do it for fast money. Some people do it just to take care of this bill or extra hustle. Some people just, it don't matter why people do it. They do it. Why, why are you concerned? But anyways, um, yeah, once my youngest son, Jalen, gets in preschool, I'm going to go into a different, different life journey. I can't even say what it's going to be because honestly, we all don't even know what our next, our next journey is. We just take it day by day. I'm really a kind of go with the flow. Like whatever works for me, works for me. But as of dancing, I, this is my last year. I, this is my last year. Got a couple more months left of the year. So we're going to see what, see what we can do, make it do what it do. That's why I've been trying to travel and go different places just so I can experience it. Um, yeah, so I started dancing at 28. I'm about to be 30. Um, in a couple of days. And I don't see myself dancing long. I don't. And really, dancing hasn't even been paying like that. Like, if you're a stripper, you know. You know. Unless you're, like, in one of them good-ass states, like, Texas. Or, I don't even know where the good money is, honestly. But it ain't here, where I'm at. 
so yeah that is the answer to your question i was 28 when i started I, and then i don't see myself dancing that long this is my last year so <laughs> come see your girl dance before she quit before she hang up her little heels i i'm probably still gonna have a pole in my house so because honestly pole dancing is like a therapy and so yeah um last question where did you meet your sugar daddy i met my sugar daddy at the clubs that i work at um i do have a total of three one i mean it doesn't matter the race but they're all three different races um two of them i met at the club hq um the last one i met on facebook dating and that kind of i'm about to tie into the tips um of like where to find them so um First and foremost, all three of them were the ones to approach me about what they wanted. I wasn't looking for that situation. It just so happened that's what they were looking for. And I was fine with that. And we made an agreement. We made an arrangement. That's that. So it was a little easy. I can't really tell you how to approach that situation. I'm not really a professional at this, like, at all. Um, as far as where to find, find one, find a sugar daddy, I would suggest, if you're a dancer, the clubs that you work at, if you're not a dancer, casinos, um, shit, take a little stroll through Home Depot and a little skirt, go find you a little, <clears throat> go find you a man up in there, a little sugar daddy, um, social media, you could, um, like I said, I met mine's on Facebook dating, so you can, like, I, I was portraying myself as looking for the trickiest trick there was, and he popped up, simple as that, you can also try, like, POF, you can also try, um, seeking arrangement, I've heard things about that, but I've never personally tried it myself because they get to talking about you got to pay this to unlock the message and shit. Like, no, baby, no. Clubs, casinos, Home Depot, social media. That's where I would recommend. Or like a classy restaurant where you think people are spending money. Um, how to keep them interested? It really just depends on the 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 sugar daddy. Me, I had just met my recent, my most recent one. Like, I don't know. We just connect on a friend vibe. Like, it's it's never, like, anything. Like, I'm not faking anything. I don't tell him all of my personal business. But the vibe and connection is genuine. Like, we started off with that. So, like, he trusts me. And we're just good. Um, Talk about what they like. Don't be sitting there just talking about you. Make sure that you're asking how their day went. Making them feel comfortable. Massaging their... You know, just making them feel good. That's the whole point. Making them feel good and they're going to pay you good. Simple as that. And I can't, I can't say every sugar daddy is not going to want some sugar. I can't speak for everyone. You just got to weed them out. Um, and yeah, um, as far as like keeping up with them when we're not spending time together, like I'll occasionally send a text like, oh, hey, good morning. I hope you have a great day. How's work? Did you eat today? Just... I'm making sure I'm concerned about them, like, treating them like a person, saying thank you, not being demanding, like, that's one thing I will say, that at one time, I asked my sugar daddy, like, if you could Apple pay me, and he would take too long to respond back, so I was like, <laughs> never mind, he was like, wow, you're really impatient, so I had to play it off, like, I just had to play it off, and he didn't like that, he, so don't be trying to, don't be on their ass, so don't just make it all about the money, make it about them as well, like, that's how you can keep them, you want the money to keep coming in, you don't want it to just be a one-time thing, so yeah, I hope y'all catching my drift, that's just a little, little rundown, um, leave some, some questions down below if you have any, because I just kind of, I'm going off the brain, and I'm also high, so I hope that I'm just not sounding stupid. <laughs> hope you get what I've been talking about. But um, lastly, YouTube tips. People have been asking me about how to start YouTube. My advice is just go for it. Don't wait for nobody. Don't wait for a fancy camera. Don't wait for a little laptop because your girl got an iPhone. iPhone 12, I think it is. I ain't upgraded yet. iPhone 12. Um, and I use certain apps to edit my video, like InShot. Just go to the App Store. InShot. You can do iMovie. You can do CapCut. There's different apps that you can use to edit your videos. Um, also, as far as like the thumbnails, there's an app. There's apps for that. Um, I use uh, an app called Fonto. Fonto. I don't know, but yeah, Fonto. So it's also in the App Store. But you guys can look on YouTube. That's how I personally was like, I just typed in how to make a thumbnail. And it tells you like the sizing, 
what apps to use, how to just how to do it. Um, so you can pretty much look on YouTube everything about that. Like I said, you don't need a fancy camera. As far as like topics, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to talk about, you want to do get ready's with me, you want to do mukbangs, you want to do hauls, you want to do wig reviews, whatever you want to do, just do it and just be your authentic self. Like don't get on the camera acting all a certain type of way. Like me personally, this is just me how I am. I'm making weird faces all the time, be laughing by my damn self, all that. So just be your authentic self and people will either like it or they won't. That's just life, period. Um, and then also promote. Like, if you have a TikTok, promote it on there. If you have Instagram, promote it on there. Put your links on your story. Put it in your description box. Just promote yourself. Um, do giveaways. Get people engaged. Things like that. Um, so hopefully this this was just like a little quick rundown. If you want a more in-depth video, let me know and I will do that. But your girl's about to wash this off. I'm also ending this video. I hope that you guys like this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos in the future. Um, we're on the road to 4K. Yeah, thank you guys for everyone who has subscribed so far. I also appreciate every comment I get and I try to respond to everyone. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the bomb. Also, I need a name to call you guys. Like, I'm tired of saying, hey, y'all. I need, like, I need a name to call y'all. What are y'all? Hey y'all, like that's so easy to do, but like I wanna call y'all something. Y'all been with me for some for some time now and I appreciate y'all. So yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Stay tuned for more videos in the future and follow me on Instagram at underscore your girl Gina with two A's on the yeah uh, and two yeah uh, two A's on the Gina. Jeez, that's a tongue twister. But yeah, I will catch you guys in my next one.